Good afternoon, welcome to Stamps and Tea. Thanks for joining me today. We are going to make this adorable little flower Hershey Kisses holder. I really love this, it's so fun. Um, believe it or not, there's no adhesive apart from sticking this little thing on the front and the petals. The actual yellow part is held together just by folding and um, kind of like an origami thing. I stole this from um, a lovely lady called Kim Huffman, so thank you Kim for sharing this project. And uh, here we go, here's what you're going to need. If you don't like fussy and fiddly projects, you need to um, walk away right now. This is a little fussy, but it's fun, it's not too difficult once you get the hang of it, it just uh, is a little challenging at the get-go. So you need one inch strips, and here's my big piece of advice, if you're going to make multiple flowers, then cut a whole bunch at once. Take your piece of cardstock, and I so for example, I need five pieces that are four inches wide, scored at one, two, three, and four. And what I would advise you to do is to cut a long piece of cardstock that's four inches wide, pop it into your paper scorer, and then score the whole long sheet all at once. So put your long piece in, score all the way down your page, and then cut it into one inch strips. And that's gonna help it go a lot faster. So here we go. Uh, we have one piece that's 11 inches long, one that's seven and a half, and then five that are four inches long, and they're all one inch wide. So we're going to start with the long piece. You're going to score it at five eighths of an inch, three and seven eighths of an inch, seven and one eighth, and ten and three eighths. And before you go any further, I'm going to let you know if you email me, I'll be happy to send you a free PDF tutorial with the um, written directions on this. So you're going to Take your paper snips with that piece and, no actually first of all you're going to take your bone folder with this long piece, fold your score lines so you've folded it into thirds, kind of into thirds and then you're going to take your bone folder and curl this piece one way and the other end the same direction so those two ends are curling in towards each other and then the middle piece you're going to curl in the other direction, so it's going away from you. So you end up with kind of like a, a wiggly shape like that. Then the side that is this piece, the medium piece, you're going to take the center point and score that, and then take the other center point and score so that's kind of C-shaped. This is going to help you fold your flower so that it doesn't have ridges on the top of it. Okay. Now with your long piece, you're going to take your paper snips and see how I marked with the green there? You're going to cut here, halfway down, here from the one side this way, and then the middle piece, the two middle pieces, here and here. So my cuts, the two middle cuts are from the bottom and the two end cuts are from the top. Then with the shorter piece, the medium piece, you're going to do, like my one shows you here, cut from the bottom up to the middle and from the top down on the two ends. This is going to help it all weave together. I have to admit I'm a little bit anxious about doing this on camera because it's not easy. <laughs> so first of all, on my medium piece, I'm going to fold I'm going to slide the ends to the center like this and you have to remember where your little slits are so you put in the slits together to make this little butterfly shape and then your, your two ends will be here like that so there's like a little bow and then with this piece you're going to move the ends towards the middle and the end towards the middle again like that you have this shape and then you take these so here's my piece here and I've pinched these two ends together and it makes like a little trefoil and I'm going to want to weave this together with my little butterfly piece so this is the one bit that's a little bit fussy but um, don't worry it's not too bad you just have to practice a little bit so here's the slit is pointing up on this piece so I need to get this slit to paint down 
and then I'm going to simply weave these two pieces together. Oh, went first time, it's never done that. Then I come to the other end, find the other two pieces like that. So I don't worry where my tails are going. This is all gonna come right. So I'm just gonna weave these two. So I've got a slit at the bottom here and a slit at the top here. I'm gonna weave these two together. Probably got my head right in front of the camera. And press it down. And I know it looks a little funky, but it's gonna come right in a minute. So now I take my pieces that are one inches by four inches here, and they're scored at one, two, three. And I'm gonna fold these into a triangle. So they look like this. And I've got one double piece here, and I'm gonna squeeze them into these petals. And this is gonna give the shape that holds everything all together. So I put the double piece, it's gonna to go to the outside of the petal. So we're just gonna wiggle that in there like this. And it's quite a tight fit. Squeeze it in like that. And then I've got one over here that like Martha Stewart I prepared earlier. So this one's already got four triangles in. I'm just gonna put the fifth triangle in. So like that. So now you can see it's coming kind of a bit rounder now and it's working a little bit better. And then don't worry if you struggle with this at first, weaving these two pieces together. The first time you do it, it's kind of a challenge. And then once you get it, it's really not bad. You've just got to kind of persevere. So now I take my candies and I'm going to squeeze them into the holes. And it's quite a tight fit. So I'm going to do them all from one side. And this way, all the papery pieces of the kisses points up. And then when I turn it upside down, it will look all tidy. So see if you kind of have to smush them in there. But then they don't fall out, see? Because those pretty... Tidy, isn't that so cool? And I'm gonna come back. And then, although my flower was funky to start with, like this, once you put those triangles in and put all the, the candy in, it helps it keep its shape. So now I've got this image from Around Array, and I'm stamping this in Rich Razzleberry, and then punching it out with a seventh inch scallop circle punch. I had to pick these colors because these are Bayfield colors, purple and gold, gold Wolverines. <laughs> I'm going to stick this together on here. So I'm just simply going to put a puffy right in the middle and stick my flower on top of there. And then I'm going to take a diamond, one of these jumbo rhinestones, and plop it right in the middle. So pretty. Then I got two wild wasabi scallop oval punch petals. And I'm going to put a couple of glue dots on the back of here. Remember, never touch your glue dot. Always press your whatever it is you want to stick onto that and let it let it um touch the glue dot instead of you picking it up because they just make a big mess. So I'm gonna stick these two petals on like that and that helps hold my candy in. And here's my finished little project. Isn't that so cool? Pretty easy and uh, a lot of fun. It just takes a little fiddling around. So anyway, like I said earlier, if you would like the tutorial with all the measurements and then step-by-step -step instructions, please um, email me and I'll send you a PDF of that. And then also another thank you to Kim Huffman, who um, I stole this idea from. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.